everybody, Todd Metalhead Weatherman here. I hope everyone's doing well, and I hope everyone is ready. It's finally happened. We've been talking about this for the last little over a week, honestly, at this point. But potential Tropical Cyclone 9, or PTC 9, as we often abbreviate it as, is here. And boy, oh boy, I've been nervous about this scenario ever since hurricane season started. And while I'm not trying to induce panic, I do want to induce action or encourage action at this point because this storm right now based off of this forecast here and what we're seeing on satellite i do think this is going to intensify a lot faster than expected i i personally think that this might make a major hurricane by wednesday at this point i also think that this could be a very powerful major hurricane this could be maybe even cat four uh, there is a very high ceiling for this storm system given the environment that's out ahead of it Which we'll go over in a little bit here But the main thing I want to talk about first of course is the time frames and the impacts here So starting out with of course Cuba and parts of Mexico of course We're mainly going to be looking at impacts starting probably by Tuesday afternoon tomorrow All the way through majority of Wednesday here all the way up until late Wednesday afternoon the impacts will stop there do have the tropical storm warnings and hurricane watch in effect i do think that this will strengthen the hurricane by the time it passes through the strait here and that's one thing that kind of concerns me as well is the fact that land interaction between this area is going to be pretty limited so it's not going to do a whole lot to slow the storm down and like i said based off what we're seeing on satellite already this is a prime environment so we're going to go ahead and actually take a quick look at when we can expect tropical storm conditions to arrive there and then after that we're going to start to talk more about florida of course right now i would say tomorrow morning is when western cuba starts to feel the, the heat here or the impacts then as we get towards tuesday afternoon then we're starting to see the yucatan start to feel the impacts as well as we look up to the north here and i know some of you guys are nervous about this i i'm just going to say it now just be prepared don't be nervous try to have a plan of action so you can stay safe if you are in an evacuation zone i would consider my options right about now don't wait till the last minute but in any case though by wednesday evening that's when i would start to anticipate those tropical storm conditions on go begin to occur here and probably by late thursday night we'll start to see those impacts over towards where we're anticipating our landfall and that landfall could be anywhere from tampa bay all the way through the rest of the panhandle of florida so panama city destin you guys need to be on watch for this as well but in any case though we'll also go ahead and take a look at the threat of storm surge right now and for right now, it's so far out in regards to areas such as Tallahassee, Tampa, and such that this is more or less hearsay right now. But one thing that I don't like about this is the fact that we're, on, we're looking at Tampa here and we're on that right front quadrant here. And usually with that, it means that we're going to end up seeing these waters being pushed on shore from initial impacts. Even if we don't get a direct landfall here, a lot of this water is going to be heading into the bay here and it probably will be staying that way for most of the storm so even though we're our chances of a landfall here are slightly lower it's still very much a big concern over here towards tampa bay st petersburg so make sure that like i said if you're anywhere near an evacuation area you need to consider your options at this point so that being said of course like i said this is still far out and very much prone to changing we're going to go ahead and now take a look at spaghetti models and again like we said before as far as the track is concerned confidence is considerable at this point in regards to an impact over towards the big bend or maybe towards the florida panhandle some of these models again like i said before they do push a little bit more to the south a bit more maybe towards Tampa Bay but I'm thinking off to the east of Panama City might be the favored point here so we'll just have to keep an eye on things of course these storms love to wobble off in whichever direction it could end up going off to the left or to the right here 
right now I'm thinking we're going to end up seeing a lot more movement to the right if we do have a deviation in course here. But that for me is not really the most concerning thing here. This right here, the experimental spaghetti model intensity here off of cyclocane is what catches my eye here. So while there's only a handful of models that push this above category, there's actually quite a few that push this above category three here. There's a couple that even push it right up towards the edge of category five here. And I've always watched for these trends. I do like, and this is why I have confidence in this being a major hurricane. Of course, we're hoping for the best case scenario, which would be a much weaker storm. I mean, honestly, we're just really more or less trying to take what we can get at this point, because I do think with this environment, like I said before, ceiling's very high. So I'll take a category two storm over a category five any day. I'm sure a lot of you would too, but the fact that I'm seeing so many models here showing cat three plus over 105 knot winds, which is getting towards 120 plus miles an hour, getting even into the 130s here, definitely uh, raises some concern here. So like I said, evacuation region, if you're in an evacuation area and they're calling for it, definitely, definitely consider leaving, especially if this storm does get up to category four plus status here. You don't want to be involved in that. It's not fun. I've heard plenty of horror stories from people from Florida. But in any case, though, if we were to go ahead and try and take a look at some of the environment out ahead of it, this is putting things into perspective for you here. This map shows the sea surface temperatures here in Celsius. But if you multiply them with an integer that's closer to three, that's the sea surface temperature in Fahrenheit. We're at 30 degrees Celsius. And if you multiply 30 times three, you would probably take like maybe a degree or two off of there, but just shows just how warm the waters are in this part of the Caribbean in the Gulf. It's basically bath water. To put in perspective for you, I would say about maybe 25 to 27 degrees Celsius would be ideal for tropical development. The fact that we're at 30, 31, in some places even 32, definitely is an eye opener here. So I do anticipate this to undergo rapid intensification. The environment is very much primed for it. And this model here in particular, I find it very alarming because of the fact that we have a very low central pressure here. 937 millibars is well beyond a major hurricane at this point, probably pushing category five, I would say. So this little area right here, and this number right here is what I'm watching. So obviously I can't move this along at the, this marking along at the same time as I'm operating the model. But if you continue to watch this go forward here, drops all the way to 930 just before landfall here. And look at the water around it still being as warm as can be. So like I said, very, very much concerned in regards to potential impacts here and just the intensity of this storm in general here we could have i remember one of you that has watched the videos recently kind of compared this to michael let's hope that that's not the case but if so we need to be on our game and making our preparations now don't mean to sound like a broken record player but i'm trying to do all i can to help you guys and keep you safe especially if i can't be there to help one saving grace might be the fact that we have a little bit of dry air that tries to come in around the south side of this storm here. I don't think it's going to affect it too significantly before landfall, but we can hope for the best here. And maybe we will have a slightly weaker storm, especially based off of what this model run is showing us, because this is a pretty extreme scenario if this does end up occurring here. And this storm maintains its strength even after it goes over land here. So I would ha also be concerned with the rainfall threat, tornado threat, and much more as we continue to go further along here. So it's going to be a lot to keep up with in as we continue to go forward from this point. So one other thing we're going to look at, and this could be another inhibiting factor, might be a little bit of wind shear. I don't think, again, this is going to do a whole lot to really slow this thing down. But maybe we can hope that we get a little bit of wind shear 
on that northwest side to kind of undercut the storm just a little bit and maybe just maybe we'll have something weaker because <laughs> i do think that this is going to become a hurricane i'm very confident in that just how strong this will be is still a question but consider like i said considering the environment we have and i hate to have to have the uh, gloom and doom type attitude this is not looking good so if you guys if you guys are anywhere within an evacuation area anywhere near the coast just get out of there honestly i'm just gonna say it, get out of there but that being said we're gonna be pretty much covering this for the rest of the week at this point it's gonna be the main topic here if there's anything else we'll cover we'll probably do it more in a uh, shorts format or something like that if need it be we'll, we'll try and make two videos but for anyone that's in the path of what is soon to be Helene, definitely be paying extra close attention to this. Make sure you're hitting the like button here as well, hitting that subscribe button, and hitting that share button. That being said, you guys have an awesome rest of your day. Stay safe, and I will see you in the next video. Take care and have an awesome rest of your day.